Welcome back, and this one will go through on my clamshell VHS. We have two, two of my favorites here. We have She-Ra, Princess of Power. Really like that one. And one that I was so happy to have, because this is the original one that I had as a kid, but He-Man, Masters of the Universe, Skeletor's Revenge. I watched this, I don't even know how many times as a kid, put it in, not that long ago, like a year ago or so, and it still works fine. So happy that that is still in good condition. Mary Poppins. The Jungle Book. Oh, we have a handful of these. And like this one and uh, the Willy Wonka on Chocolate Factory. There's a handful that were old family copies. So cool to have just a handful of those that, that made it through the years that lasted with the Care Bears movie. One of the best Muppet movies and my wife's favorite hands down, Muppet Treasure Island. My favorite overall, The Muppet Christmas Carol. And I think I just love this because this turned into a family tradition for years and years and years around Christmas time to watch that movie. And I just, I absolutely adore it. We have two Sailor Moon movies, Sailor Moon Super S, Black Dream Hole, and Sailor Moon, the movie Hearts in Ice. Handful of Goosebumps. VHS. I was super into Goosebumps in elementary school, more like third and fourth and maybe into fifth grade uh, with the show and the books and collecting them all was just that was like the popular thing. But we have A Night in Terror Tower, The Haunted Mask, Stay Out of the Basement, and The Werewolf of Fever Swamp. And I like for The Werewolf of Fever Swamp the green that goes well with Goosebumps. Fantasia. And we have Rugrats the Movie. I'm going to do a link of video after I remember to put that in the description at the end here. Uh, this is an important one because when she was a kid, my wife, Amanda, was in the commercial for this. If you remember, there was uh, an, an entry on Nickelodeon where you could be entered to go to the studio and be there for the premiere of the movie and be in a quick little commercial. And she's in there with her family in the commercial. I'll link that below. Caddyshack. Hercules and Xena, the battle for Mount Olympus, the animated picture, which is pretty mediocre, but man was I excited for this when this came out. I was a huge Hercules and Xena fan, and it's it's just kind of okay, but whew, I didn't care. I was super excited. I rented this so many times before we actually bought a copy. A Taurus videotape I talked about in a recent Pickets video from uh, Vienna. One of the, I think, feel like lesser known Shirley Temple movies. I had never seen it before. I think she was a little bit older, and I think a lot of the ones when she starts to get a little bit older, just they aren't included in as many of the collections and things that have been coming out, and they just are kind of to the wayside a bit more. But uh, The Blue Bird, and I had not seen this. Amanda saw it and loved it when she was a kid, and it was pretty good. I watched it with her, and I was surprised. It was good. Last, uh, oh no, it's a the stack over there. Not last one. Uh, the Goonies. Gotta have that 80s classic, never get tired of that one. Snack over here. Castle in the Sky and Spirited Away. It's a little bit of Studio Ghibli. Puff the Magic Dragon. And Pete's Dragon. Beauty and the Beast. The Dark Crystal. And this is really cool. I really like this. Limited Gold Edition Cartoon Classics, The Disney Dream Factory, 1933 to 1938. Uh, this is Amanda's old one from when she was a kid and still in decent shape. Uh, really, really good release. These are just excellent if you've seen any of those. Any of the sort of silly symphonies, any of that kind of stuff. And now the last tape here. <laughs> Probably this most ridiculous one of the bunch because it's just plain stupid. Uh, Ninja Turtles, The Next Mutation. Oh, man. <laughs> Do you guys remember this? I actually have uh, a volume of the series on DVD too. It is so bad. I mean, just really bad. But for me, it, it goes into that territory of like so bad it's good because it's just laughably terrible. Uh, and I just really enjoy it because of that. And I was a, I was a big Turtles fan when I was a little kid. I had so many of the toys and the, the, the van and everything. It was really the right age for being into Turtles. That was the big thing. And when that came out, I was like, oh, it's going to be live action. It's going to be like the movies, but a TV series. And it came out, and 
it was not. <laughs> uh, but it, it's rewatching it as I got older, I liked it more. I hated it when it first came out, but I liked it more as I got older. So wow, this is this is really funny.